Hello everyone, I'm Zhao Chuang. Today we are going to learn about the black rhinoceros. Rhinoceros used to be a very thriving family. Some species biologically related to them have even evolved into the tallest animals on earth, such as the ancient Parasaurotherium. The long-necked Parasaurotherium was a close relative of the rhinoceros. In the past, there were many kinds of rhinoceros, such as Aminodon, Chylotherium, and the most popular ancient rhinoceros, the woolly rhinoceros. Rhinoceros used to be a very large family, but later, many species gradually became extinct. Only five species have survived to this day. They are, respectively, the black rhinoceros and white rhinoceros living in Africa, the Indian rhinoceros, Javan rhinoceros, and Sumatran rhinoceros living in Asia. At first glance, these rhinoceros look similar. They all have a round body and stout limbs, almost the same as the horned dinosaurs. And they have a nasal horn on the face. In general, they look sturdy and bad-tempered. But in fact, they are different in many ways. In particular, Asian rhinoceros and African rhinoceros are very different at first glance. First of all, most Asian rhinoceros have only one nasal horn. For example, Indian rhinoceros and Javan rhinoceros have only one nasal horn on their nose, close to the front of their body. And both Asian rhinoceros have huge armor on their body. If you see lumps and bulges on some rhinoceros pictures, and they have structures like turtle shells, and big cracks at the root of the joints, which facilitate the movement of these plates, like the armor worn by ancient warriors, they are mostly Indian or Javan rhinoceros. The Sumatran rhinoceros looks different. First of all, the Sumatran rhinoceros is red, like a hippopotamus. And it's small. Like African rhinoceros, it has tenasal horns, and its body is smooth without scales. It has thick hair. Many Sumatran rhinoceros grow long hair, like woolly rhinoceros, especially when they are young. Today we are going to talk about the black rhinoceros. The black rhinoceros is one of the two rhinoceros living in Africa, the other is white rhinoceros. Speaking of the latter's name, it was given based on a misinterpretation. Usually, people will read the two names and think that the black rhinoceros is darker, and the white rhinoceros has lighter skin color. In fact, both rhinoceros have the same color. They are both gray like this. However, the reason why one is called white may come from a misinterpretation. The biggest difference between the two rhinoceros is their mouth. The black rhinoceros has a narrow and sharp mouth, similar to a parrot beak. The front of its lips has a pointed and raised tip, while the white rhinoceros tip is not pointed, and its mouth is very wide. Here is a model of white rhinoceros. From this angle, you can see that the mouth of the white rhinoceros is very wide, a bit like the mouth of a horse. In English, the pronunciation of wide is similar to that of white. So some people speculate that the name may be the result of a mishearing. This species should have been called wide snout rhinoceros. In principle, the other species should be called narrow snout rhinoceros. But the word wide was misheard and became white, and the other one became black. This is only one theory, and there are also many others. For example, white rhinoceros likes to roll on the ground, and get a lot of dirt on its body. Under the strong sunlight, they look white. The black rhinoceros rarely does something similar, so it looks darker. It is another opinion. Of course, no matter what, as we all know, the colors of these two rhinoceros are not very different. And it is not the important difference. The black rhinoceros, apart from having a mouth different from a white rhinoceros, is also more streamlined, smoother and slicker. The whole contour of the white rhinoceros is not so streamlined and looks more angular. The black rhinoceros looks thinner and more streamlined. And you can see that the limbs of white rhinoceros are angular and muscular. The black rhinoceros limbs look slender and smooth. This is also a difference between them. In addition, there are many such lumps on top of the head of a white rhinoceros. That's not the case with the black rhinoceros. The black rhinoceros has a round and smooth head. And the black rhinoceros has a rounder face. The face of the white rhinoceros is more like a square. This is also a big difference between these two rhinoceros. What's more, the nasal horn of the black rhinoceros looks thinner than that of the white rhinoceros. The nasal horn of white rhinoceros is generally more square. The section of that horn looks more square and wider. 
From the side, it looks thicker. The second horn of the white rhinoceros is slightly smaller, and the second horn of many white rhinoceros is almost round, not sharp. Of course, there are exceptions. Most of them have a longer first horn and a shorter second horn. Although the black rhinoceros has also a smaller second horn, its two horns are often both large. And the front horn of the black rhinoceros often has a different shape. Some black rhinoceros have backward bent horns. Other black rhinoceros are like this. Its horns project forward and can have greatly variable shapes. The reason why rhinoceros have horns that demonstrate individual difference is that the horn itself does not have a bony core for support, like a bull horn or goat horn. It is a structure similar to human fingernails or hair, a kind of keratin. During its growth, it is sometimes affected by fungi, just like humans who have nail diseases, which deform their fingernails, rhinoceros can also be infected with fungi. When infected, horns will grow into a strangely bent shape. There was a very famous rhinoceros in Beijing Zoo. Its two horns grew into a twisted and very strange shape. The reason is fungal infection. The rhinoceros is a typical herbivore. Although it is a herbivore, it has a bad temper. It often rams others with horns. Even a baby rhinoceros that doesn't have horns yet, will subconsciously push others with its head. Although rhinoceros has short legs, it can reach a very fast speed in a short time, then hits the enemy with this power. Let's look at the face of rhinoceros. Its facial structure is also interesting. The rhinoceros eyes are close to the front part. Normally, if you close your eyes, and think about the look of rhinoceros, you may think that rhinoceros eyes are here. But in fact, rhinoceros eyes are close to the very front, and all this back part is its skull without anything, and its ears are big, and sensitive, and stand upright. It has good hearing but poor eyesight, because it has small eyes. In Africa's sunny environment, its eyes are often half open, and it has very strong ribs. When it is running or moving, the body swings left and right for a long time, so, between the ribs, you can see some fine stripes at the parts which move often. This is also a feature of rhinoceros. Although the rhinoceros is very strong and its skin is very thick, the outline of its ribs is still obvious. In addition, its tail is very short, with a lot of hair at the end of the tail, which can also act as a fly swatter. The rhinoceros has very short limbs. Each foot has three toes. Each toe has a very wide nail like a hoof. These hoof-like nails can make this very heavy animal resist wear better when it walks, so its strides become more comfortable. The above is some information about rhinoceros.